while you're watching Imp for Eddie. So this is a rundown of unboxing your SLS Connect camera. This is our latest version, very lightweight, very compact and very portable. So in the box, uh, you'll get a series of grips. So you've got this tripod grip. So you can press this button and revolve it around and it makes into a nice handy stand, which can be adjusted to suit. Or that grip can be simply unscrewed and you can use uh, the alternative rigid grip. So also in the box, you've got the safe powered 8AA battery pack. So basically this sticks on the back. This takes eight AA batteries. So we're saying you can use rechargeable batteries or eight AA batteries. The reason we avoid using the 18650 batteries or the other battery packs that are usually imported from China is that basically they explode. The post don't like us using them, so we avoid those full stop. Obviously, we don't want you with equipment setting on fire, etc. So we'd rather uh, put safety first, think of you guys and give you the most best lightweight, compact and portable SLS camera available. So this is a V1 version. This is built around a V1 sensor. Uh, so it's still a V1. So a V2 sensor, we actually sell those as well, should you wish to have one. Uh, they're also available on our store. So in the box, you've got a mains adapter as well. So we'll just plug this one in. I think this is a to be sufficient to run it. So we can unplug the battery pack. We can remove the battery pack. You best to set up the SLS camera on the mains until you get used to it. So if we plug it in, you'll see that the indicator light is on. And then what we can do is take the tablet and we can power on the tablet. So we'll just let the tablet power on. So on the menus, we've actually got the, uh, you can probably see there, we've put the software on the desktop there or within the apps, and then uh, you can get to them also on the desktop. So we'll just find the, the uh, well, we've put them on the, like the start menu as well. So you've got the Connect Toolkit which is a common one. You've got the Connect Studio, which records um, the skeletal data. Um, you can use, obviously, your camera to record the screen if you want to do it third person, or you can use any screen recorder that you can download. A good free one we recommend is the OBS Studio uh, that you can add to the tablet, if you please. Um, we advise recording to the SD card slot on the tablet rather than take up precious memory on your on your tablet itself uh, which may affect the performance so just keep the tablet clear make sure you record anything to the sd card and we've also got the fast which is the articulated skeleton tracker um so you'll probably see all the sellers start to add that and, and follow suit um to what we've done so i'll simply plug the tablet in via the micro usb um, if it was to load fast you've got a little connect button and it connects up there um, because the sense is pointing uh, to the desktop it's just going to uh just going to appear black at the moment and oh, you've just seen it pop up there so what i'll do is i'll I'll point the tablet so it's up a little bit more and like I say it's best to go through this whilst you practice um, 
So you can see the first icon at the bottom down here, the square one is first. So we'll just load that again. We'll press connect, give it a little bit of time. And you can see there um, and the screen behind. So you can maximize this screen. Uh, we've also got a few options on here. We've got mirror mode. So you'll see my hand there, which is my, my left hand. So as the camera's looking at it, people often ask how we can make the room appear as if you can see it from behind the camera. That's the way we do it. So this is why we use this software. So it's quite unique to, to our devices. Um, and then we can maximize that, that screen. And then it'll track skeletons um, and figures. I'll just try and prop that there and perch myself behind the phone. I'll just see, yeah. You'll see it requires skeleton quite quickly there. So very important to remember, you can only run one session at a time. So if you've got fast open, you cannot be using the Connect app simultaneously. If so, you'll get a black screen and uh, won't be that helpful. So if you press the little purple Connect bar down at the bottom, you'll see the series of apps appear then. Again, the one we recommend using is Connect Explorer D2D. Press the run button, which is a circle, and there you can see me. So if I change the uh, color stream, go to resolution, and I can flick that to infrared, and you'll see if I uh, turn out the lights, basically, the depth sensor there, you see it picking up again very quick, quickly there. Uh, so the depth sensor is basically scattering lots of dots of infrared and then uh, using the red, green, blue camera and the depth camera combined, it's actually mapping. So it basically projects little dots and it numbers those dots and then it correspond the corresponding distance between those dots is actually starts to sense depth so you can imagine if it's pointing if number one's pointing at a nearer object and two's further back the distance between those changes so it's, it's very clever how it does it so saying we can tap on color stream resolution we can go back to red green and blue or you can have the raw bayer so that's the bayer array is basically an array on top of the camera display which sorts the colors with red green and blue into different into the different pots or pixel pots so it's like uh, to get a better quality image uh, a lot of top photographers will have, actually get a bay removal on their sensor so that's basically what that does and you've got different different modes as well that you can flick through um, then you can change your views and switch your views over if you please, so you've got your depth. I'll try and do that. Fat fingers, your depth view and your color view switched. So we can cancel that down. Like I said, there, there are plenty of other apps to try on there, but they're the ones that we recommend. Um, we also do a tablet with three different types of apps on as well, should you wish to have a, a further selection. So you can simply remove the USB and then you can power down the tablet to suit um, so on this one settings power shut down so I recommend keeping the tablet on on well fully charged before you put it into storage and make sure it's kept topped up uh, say once a month just to ensure the battery doesn't degrade in any any way I'm not saying this is a real impressive piece of kit um it took us a lot of time to it's let's say so lightweight and and well balanced uh unlike you know a lot of the other designs that are, are quite clumsy and, and cumbersome this is very rigid very robust and as i say it's a a dream to use and you can hold it with one hand without getting arm ache etc um let's say this this simply collapses down uh, you can unscrew this the same we've got some new pistol grips coming in which have the same attachment again they're unique to our 
our design. Um, so they'll be sold with the device. So you can either mount that direct to a tripod or you can mount um, the trigger grip to a tripod uh, or you can say simply the new ones are very similar to this but the well the pistol shape so I'll be careful not to over tighten this one the so same that just gives you a more the rigid grip so when you've got used to it on the mains you can then introduce the battery pack again it powers the same way you've got an on off switch here and then you've got the power indicator uh, turn on the tablet connect the tablet select your app and then you're good to go so hope you've enjoyed this video if you'd like to see more videos like this about our products and also how to's how to build things tutorials etc uh, there are quite a lot on our youtube channel so if you've not already please give us a thumbs up like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you soon <laughs>